What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexi and welcome back today to Minecraft. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time for a brand new Minecraft snapshot. This one is called W1850A and it is the snapshot that I've been waiting to check out for so, so long. Like literally since the Minecon. This is the one that I was most excited about. And today we're going to have a super chill and relaxed video where we are going to be touring some of the brand new NPC village structures. Dun, 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 dun. Look at it. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, I've already found a few of these for the video. Um, so yeah, we're going to be taking a look at the Savannah one just here. I'm going to try and find maybe like a couple of villages in each place just to see if they're any different. Uh, I found a tiger one. I found a like, you know, just a standard sort of grassy one. And I've also found a desert one as well. So yeah, super duper pumped for these new villages. We've had the same type of villages for so, so long. And although like the blocks and what they've made of have changed, um, you know, in the previous updates and stuff, they've never really looked particularly different until now. And there's some more stuff as well. I also want to try something later on in the video. I haven't done it just yet. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But anyway, as well as the new villages, apparently all of the NPC village clothes have been updated depending on which biome you are finding these in. So I haven't looked at these just yet, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on old Dave and Steve over here. Look at you. Not Steve. <laughs> Where's Steve? Dave. We're going to call you all Dave. Look at your slacks. Very fancy. All right, let's have a look around. So this is one savannah village i'm gonna try and find a couple of these uh but let's just have a little look around so the one thing that i would mention is that it seems like villages at the moment they are much bigger like they cover a lot more land which i think is really really cool so let's just kind of roll deep let's see what we can do here we've got a house oh look at this got a little house we've got beds inside here oh my goodness me can you imagine? You're a weary traveler. You've just started the game. You're collecting your resources. Night falls. Oh my goodness me. There are zombies everywhere. You find a village. You find Dave. You steal his house. You sleep in his bed. Easy. I like that. Oh, there is a tiny, tiny room on the side of this house. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's kind of like a semi-detached house, is it? I see. So yeah, there's a door around this side, but there's also a door here. Inside, there's, there's, hello. What have you got in here? Ooh, a load of rubbish. Okay. <laughs> well, if you need buckets, leather worker is your man. <laughs> We're going to call you Jeff. Um, okay. So it seems like you might also have some extra loot chests in here. We've got an acacia sapling, a bit of grass, some seeds, and a couple of buckets. And then I think for the moment anyway, the trades are all still the same. But maybe they might be changing the trades as we go along. Okay. Let's keep looking around. So we kind of have fairly standard looking villages in this one we've sort of got some slacks and stuff although i think i saw one of the villagers wearing a hat so i'm a little bit curious look at this right so we use it oh okay we got clay for the walls oh more loot chests we've got some bread and some leather boots we've got a couple of cauldrons here with some water in she's very very snazzy melons many many melons oh my goodness okay Got some more beds. Oh, bread. Oh, man. It seems like every single villager house has stuff in that you can steal. Amazing. They won't miss it. They won't even notice. It's fine. Where else will we go? What is this? Oh, I feel like this might be... Well, that's a cow. But this might be... Moo. I feel like this might be some kind of... Um... Ah, it's a cartographer's table. Okay. See, so, yeah, as I kind of mentioned... In this video, we're just going to be touring the villages, but I want to make a follow-up video because a few of these new blocks have been given functionality. Uh, ooh! Oh, it's like a special cartography room. No way! Ah, so this is one of the things that we were wondering. We were thinking, will some of these new function blocks be used in these brand new NPC villages? And I guess... Oh, there's a flood! How did that happen? Did you break this block? You've got a hat on! Hello, sausage! Oh my goodness me. Fisherman! Was there always a fisherman? I don't think there was a fisherman, was there? I actually can't remember. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's... The fishermen have hats. They kind of look like farmers. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but okay, they've got like fancy hats on. I love that. Yeah, so now we can actually confirm that there will be certain rooms inside NPC villages that have certain functionality. So this one is, I guess, the cartography room. Now, it'll be interesting. We've already had, like, um, a smeltery or blacksmiths in villages previously. Um, but I'm wondering if they're going to have those updated things. Man, look how many places there are 
Is this like a little chapel? Um. Oh, hello. I don't know what this is. Kind of just like a fancy house. I like it. So there's lots and lots and lots of little things. Ooh, hello, farm. That looks like a farmer. That's a proper farmer's hat. A nice straw hat there. Yeah, so every single one of these places have beds, and they're really nice orange ones in the savanna. If I was, like, doing a survival let's play, I would just steal the orange beds. I think they look great. Um, <laughs> so every single house pretty much has a bed in it, which is kind of awesome. Oh! Ah, one of the new items, Repair and Disenchant. This is the grindstone. So yeah, we'll do a separate video looking at these. But once again, there is the brand new functionality blocks inside NPC villages. There's the bell! Ring it! Oh, they added the bell sound. Ding! 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 I love it. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? So yeah, you just click it. Don't know what it does just yet. Maybe it's something to do with raids, or it might just be an aesthetic thing, but I really like it. Okay, is there anything else in this Savannah Village? I'm going to go to this one, and then I'm going to go and find another one. If it's nothing, like, completely new. Okay, there's another grindstone in here. Yeah, I'm going to go and find another one. If not, we're going to go and skip to a different biome. Um, But yeah, this is the Savannah. Okay, so just found village number two here. Ooh, it is a little bit different. Ooh, okay. Oh, my goodness me. The fanciest villager. He's got a monocle. Oh, he's an actual cartographer? No way. <laughs> I love it. He's got a monocle. He needs a top hat. That's what he needs. Okay. So a cartographer is now a profession in these villages. Uh, yeah, this one is pretty spread out. As you can see, you've got buildings over here. You've got buildings over there. You've got stuff all the way over there in the distance. Uh, ooh. <sighs> That's what a librarian looks like in the savannah. It looks like a genie. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Oh, man, I was so excited for this update. This is my favorite one yet, man. I love all of these things. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have a little look around here if there's anything different. I mean, the one thing that I noticed is the kind of center of the village. It sort of has all of these uh, wheat blocks everywhere. And um, there's still a few buildings. You've still got a, a well with a bell, the bell well over there. And you've still got all the bedrooms. Each one has a loot chest. We've got some some golden nuggets in here and stuff. So I think villagers are now definitely more useful to loot. But they're also way more useful to basically kind of live near <laughs> or steal from. <laughs> Compass, we've got another cartographer's table, which I don't think currently works. Um, We've got, what is this? One random building. This is the worst building ever. What is it? Is it a prison? I don't think it is. Maybe it's the chief's house. There's a cat. Hello, cat. Um. Oh, it's got barrels under it. Ah, okay, yeah, so barrels are a new thing. We'll look at that in the other video. Uh, but they have been now given some functionality. And yeah, look at this. We've got wheat fields here off in the distance. Got loads of wheat blocks. I don't think there's any new particular rooms in this village, but I love it. So far, Savannah Village. Were all the beds red? Got emeralds in this chest. Jeez. All right, Savannah Village. What are you doing sussing out this cow? Is he suspect? Hmm? What has he done? Dude, if you've got beef with this cow, you can keep me right out of it. I'm not getting involved in drama. Okay, next up, we are going here just to your classic sort of plains biome because we have, I guess, sort of a more standard NPC village sort of spawning location. I would imagine that, you know, usually Minecraft spawns sort of in the plains. Um... So yeah, this is probably one of the first ones that you're going to be finding. Um, I'm most excited about looking at the desert ones, uh, which we're going to take a look at in just a second. But yeah, check this out. Once again, the villages seem much, much bigger in size. We've got a little bit of a flower forest biome over here. Um, and yeah, look at this bad boy. As you can see, things are... It looks a little bit more classic, but the first thing you'll notice is that the actual buildings are a little bit more spaced out. I actually really like that. It adds just more sort of appeal to it. I think they look nicer. So some of these new villages, the houses have been redesigned. They just look look a little bit more professional, I guess. We've got some flower planters outside. Ah! Oh! Hello, sausage. What are you doing in here? Where is your chest? I want to steal from you. There is nothing here. Okay. <laughs> a toolsmith. Huh. Okay. I definitely feel like they've added quite a few new professions into these villages. Now, as I kind of mentioned, I don't think the trades on them have been updated just yet, but I imagine they probably will. Um, so this looks like a church, but I think they've added stained glass. 
into some of the things. And if we... Do they still have a loot chest inside here? Oh! There's a brewing stand! No way! Oh my goodness me! Finding an NPC village is going to be so good when you start a new Minecraft world. Oh my goodness. Ooh! So yeah, as I kind of mentioned, check this out. Depending on the biome, the costumes of the villagers change. I love that. I think that's amazing. It's a shepherd! Huh? Huh? <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, dude! 21 wool for an emerald. That's pretty good. Okay, so we found a shepherd. That's awesome. Um, I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if those fancy rooms... This is a leather worker. So this must be his house. Whoa, loads of emeralds in here as well. we got some patatas. A really nice yellow bed. Yeah, I'm wondering if in each biome... The villages, maybe there's a special room in each one. So maybe the savannah one is like special for the cartographer area, or maybe it's just sort of the same for each one. I have no idea. Let's keep having a little look around. So it seems like slightly less loot chests inside this particular village. Oh! Look at this! So in the savannah, we had a, the bell well, and now we actually have the bell tree. And we've got double bells. Ding ding! And there's a nice tree right in the middle. It's kind of like the center of the place. I love it, man. This is awesome. Okay. So this looks like a pretty big building. Maybe this is the focus. Uh, it's not very wide, but you've got double beds inside. Oh, there are like four people live here. No way. Okay. What else do we have around here? So we've obviously got the planters and stuff. It goes all the way down there. We're going to go and check it out in just a second. Um, look at this. Got a balcony. These villagers have been busy, man. They've learned how to build. Ah. There's a lectern inside here. So this must be the librarian's house. The lectern, unfortunately, I don't think has functionality right now. I think about three or four of them have functionality. But as I kind of mentioned, we will definitely check those out. So this is where the village ends for here. But I tell you what, let's just zip over here quickly. Uh, ooh. Oh, is this the blacksmiths or the toolsmiths? It must be. So we've got some cauldrons outside. We've got a loot chest. Uh, oops, I broke it. And we've got another cauldron. Huh. So it seems like the old-fashioned blacksmith shop, that's kind of gone. I mean, that's where you would normally look to find the loot chest. But it seems like the loot has been more spread out across the entire village. Very cool. Very nice. I love it. Okay, next one. Okay, so we're going to do Tiger next, but just a quick little side note. The last Minecraft village, um, not village, the last snapshot update we did, we checked out the brand new pillager towers. And one thing I noticed about them is not a single tower or outpost, actually, had one of the banner villages to trigger... Uh, the bad omen effect well as i was just looking for a tiger village i did come across another one of these towers and the good news is is that yes i did found a i guess they're kind of like the boss one i'm just going to call them the banner carrier but if you kill this guy i think you will receive the bad omen let's try it so yeah this this is good this means that now we can actually find these guys at the they Go. There it is! Woohoo! <laughs> Bad omen. So we're going to go and check that functionality out next video because I think they've updated it and changed it a bit. But good news is that, yes, when you go and you find yourself... Ooh! Cool loot. Uh, yeah, when you actually go and maybe find yourselves one of these outposts, there is definitely now a chance that you can find one of the banner carriers. That's really good news. Okay, next up we have Tiger! Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's so cool, this one. It's really, really, like... The colors work really nicely with the biome. As you can see, there's many, many pumpkins inside the old tiger village. It looks very, very snazzy indeed. I love it. So yeah, I think I want to find a couple. And this one, this one seems like a little bit small. But this one is kind of awesome. Because of like the tiger and the terrain, it's kind of like all up and down. And the village fits perfectly inside this. So I think they've done a lot of good work on how the villages generate. Sometimes you find just these mad villages <laughs> that generated in Minecraft, but I think they've maybe just changed the way that they generate. They've done a really nice job. And yeah, this one is awesome. There are so many of these like raised planters. They've got these little um uh trapdoor things on the side. So they actually that's actually really nice. I like that. Why have I never done that before? Look at this. So you've got some wheat, you've got some pumpkins growing here. Um, 
Though I feel like half these pumpkins don't have space to actually grow, which is a little bit weird. Maybe it's just for, like, design. <laughs> but yeah, you can kind of steal loads and loads of pumpkins from this place. There's a ton of those planting beds. And if we go into the actual village... Ooh! Hey! So instead of having, like, a building for the grindstone, um, they have just, like, an open shack type thing. Um, and we've got you, who's kind of a little bit stuck in there. Let me help you out a bit. There we go. Um, I guess he's kind of... Oh, it's on fire! No! Why would you do such a thing? How is it... Oh, oh lava. <laughs> Wait, let me save you. Oh, it's a purple bed. I'm going to save... Oh, I broke the purple bed. I was trying to save it. Oh, look at this. They've actually made chairs. How many years have people been doing this? Putting signs on the side of, of stair blocks. Minecraft has stolen it. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so it seems like we've got a couple of grindstone bays here. I mean, everyone is literally just going to steal the grindstone, but I mean, why would you not? Double doors? Really? I guess it's like extra zombie safe, kind of, sort of, ish. Huh. Okay, no loot chest, but it seems like blue beds are the things we're getting in the tiger. So it feels like a lot of it is color coordinated. It's designed appropriately. Um, You look a little bit like the plains villager. I'm going to leave you to do your stuff. All right. What else have we got here? Okay, we've got some purple beds as well. Sweet berries. Oh, yeah, from the new berry bushes. Oh, I haven't seen the berry bushes yet. They must be around here somewhere. Okay, yeah, but we're looking at villages today. All right, okay, so there doesn't seem to be too much on this bottom layer. Let's go up a little bit to the next layer. This looks like a different house. It kind of like a big log. Oh, there's a berry bush. Hey. Oh, man, that's such a modded item. <laughs> How many mods have we seen with berry bushes? And you right click and it drops the berries. Oh, it feels good to have it in vanilla, man. Okay, let's go and have a look in here. We've got this double door structure again, which is really strange. Ah! So once again, this is a... Um, oh, I've forgotten the name of it. I'm going to look at these. Smithing table. Yeah! So this is interesting. We found a tiger village and one of the specialist buildings inside the tiger is a smithing room. Now, can we get these in like savannah and plains and stuff? I don't know. Maybe. But that's kind of awesome. And it seems there's another really big building up here somewhere. There's so many cats everywhere as well. Oh, oh. Okay, another grindstone. Man, there's so many grindstones. Got some crafting tables here. So it does seem the crafting tables are staying in the game and stuff. It's not like all getting replaced by all of these new items, which I think is nice. Um, oh, oh, you're fancy. A cleric. I like your cape. I like that a lot. How do you get into this top house, though? This one. This is the one I got my eyes on. What do you look like? Okay, you're kind of just green. Um. Oh, it's a staircase. No way. Okay, so what is this building? Got some wood. Can I just break the floor? Whoop! Hello, sausage. Oh, it's the cleric's house. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like an upstairs downstairs thing. Got more planting areas, which are like made out of mossy cobble. You've got these pumpkins growing everywhere. I love it. All right. This video is going to be way longer than I was expecting. I actually... Oh, no. The whole thing's on fire. Oh, geez. It wasn't me. I swear. Okay. So this one is the Desert NPC Village. Now, so what I've kind of decided about these village updates is that I kind of think that there isn't specifically like so much of an exclusive set of buildings, but I kind of feel like each village you're going to find is likely going to contain maybe one or two of these new special structures, maybe a cartography room or like a blacksmith's or like a library or something. Uh, the desert one is my favorite one. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Oh, I love it. It looks so cool. And yeah, this one has one of the features that I really wanted to show you guys. So, first up, I really like the way... Oh, yeah, there's cats everywhere, by the way. <laughs> I know they added new cats and stuff, and they did, like, a competition. So, if you find an NPC village, you're likely going to find lots of cats. Um, But yeah, this is kind of some loot chests and some bits and pieces. I really like the shapes of the desert buildings. I think they're kind of pretty nifty looking. And... Look at this, a little farm. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is kind of cool because what type of block don't you usually find in the desert? Grass. I mean, grass is kind of, you know, in the desert, it doesn't really work. But this villager has managed to find himself a little bit of grass and try and keep a few little moo moo cows. Very cool. You can also find these with pigs in as well, which I think is kind of awesome. Um, Yeah, but this is what I wanted to show you. So actually, hang on. Let's see what there's in here. Okay, not too much in there. But yeah, this is kind of like a little mini... 
village market type thing. So you've got these random stalls, and unfortunately, like, villagers don't stand behind them, but you've got kind of like these fancy carpet blocks, and you've kind of got these sort of cactus and, and dried shrubs, and you've got some more of these... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know, all that kind of thing. We've got some other buildings in here as well. Ah, we got some looms. All right. Oh! Oh no, what happened to your friend? No, there was a white sheep in here. Now he dead. Oh, jeez. What happened here, buddy? Did you drown? What? Did, was it you? Were you the murderer? Hmm? Look at me. You can't even look. Oh. How sassy was that sheep? Oh, you look fancy. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, a butcher. Hey, okay. Well, he looks kind of nifty. Uh, I don't trust you one bit, dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why? Oh, no. Let's stay away from that house. All right. Okay. What else do we have in here? We've got like a little pool type thing. Um, And yeah, we've got like a little side house. We've got some more of these barrels just lying around here. Um... And yeah, let's go up to the very top of here. We've got a load of wheat. We've got kind of like a double story house. This one looks really nice. Oh, look at this. There's a cartographer table inside. No way. Well, there we have it. So this is just like a small example of all the different types of NPC villages. But if you do go and explore these in the next snapshot or if you wait until the game updates, I think what you're going to find is that pretty much every single village, depending on the biome, is completely different looking. Uh, and it's going to contain different buildings. I think that's really cool because previously all of these places, although they're NPC villages and they were good, they all kind of looked identical with just different colored blocks. But this is amazing. There's so much more variety, all the different buildings, all the different loot, all the special items. It looks amazing at night as well. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That looked cool. All right. I want to try one more thing before the video finishes. Interestingly, I was just looking through um, some of the, the Reddit articles. And um, from what I can tell, I, I feel like from the pictures, I mentioned that like, oh, did I mention it? I can't remember. Uh, but what I was, well, <laughs> if I didn't mention it, I was thinking it. But I kind of thought like the NPC villages in the desert, I feel like they should look a little bit different. I feel like they should have lighter clothing. Um well, apparently, I don't know if the textures were loading in properly because it is just a snapshot. But I do think that, yes, the villagers will actually have, like, lighter clothing and stuff, which I think is really awesome. Another thing that I noticed, and I haven't managed to find any villages to look at in the swamp biome or the jungle biome. However, look at this. They're coming. They are coming. So yeah, they're going to be adding, I think, villages to the jungle and to the swamp as well. So the jungle villages, they look amazing. They kind of look all sort of, they look a bit like pirates, don't they? They, they do look an awful lot like pirates, but they kind of look awesome. And if we try exactly the same thing here in the swamp biome, and we go, up, 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 up. Oh, these are some of the coolest looking ones. Look at them. They've got lily pads on their heads. Oh, okay. GG Minecraft. Uh, you know what? I love this. I absolutely love this. Um, so yeah, I don't know why the desert ones weren't loading in properly. It's a little bit strange. Maybe when we do that follow-up video, if I can get it to work, I'll try and show you guys. But I feel like they should have much lighter costumes. Uh, but yeah, these are what the, 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 the swamp villages look like. You know what? I actually think, although unfortunately as of right now, there's no actual swamp village to look at. I think my favorite skins are the Swamp Villagers. <laughs> I think they just look great. They're all like green and they've got lily pads on their heads. Well, they could be lily pads or turtle shells. I'm not sure. Who are you? Fletcher. Oh, I wondered why you had the feather in your hat. It all makes sense. But yeah, I've got to say 10 on 10. GG, Moyang. This is such a cool update. And uh, yeah, we will be back very soon with some more of it. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did... Please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Minecraft and fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Ranty up!